thank you very much, uh, uh, the acting minister of foreign affairs. Uh, the deputy head of mission, uh, who is coming here uh, to take the forces, the contribution of South Sudan for that mission of Great uh, Lake is part in Congo, DRC, uh, Chief of Defense Forces, all the generals, members of media, uh, good morning. I'm here on behalf of General Selfa Kirma Yadi, the President of the Republic of South Sudan, and the Commander-in-Chief of the armed forces and other regular forces. I'm here today at Juba International Airport for an important function, the contribution of South Sudan forces. is leading, heading to DRC, is taking off today. So I came here on behalf of the government the command in chief and the people of South Sudan that today your son and daughters are going for that important mission of the region because South Sudan is a member state in African Union, in Great Lake region, and in Igat uh, region. In Igat. Uh, so today our forces are ready to move to go and carry out the important mission that is assigned to them by the region leadership. So, uh, in my mind, I have no doubt at all that our men and women in uniform will perform well in that mission. I trust them, they are well trained, they are well oriented, they will carry out, they will do it to the satisfaction of everybody. Uh, yes, uh, the world and the region, the people who have that misconception that South Sudan forces, sometimes they are not uh, disciplined, but I want to prove them today, I want to prove them wrong, that our forces are well organized, well trained, well oriented. I don't doubt that they are going to, to accomplish the mission. So, if there is anybody, the forces are oriented, are trained, uh, they have in their hand and in their mind the international laws, the Geneva Convention laws, the humanitarian laws, they have it in their mind and in their hand. They will carry out the mission without doubt. They will respect the rule and regulation of the mission. They will respect anybody in that part of the country. Uh, they will cooperate with the forces of the region. Uh, I know, I trust them, they will go on well. Uh, my message to the leaders and the command of that force is that uh, this force is committed and will do the job. Again, uh, you help them whenever they need uh, the help, the command. They have the rule of, uh, of, of, of conduct. Everything is in their hands. So I say uh, to our forces, they go well. They will return back home well. They will be received in this international airport with open hands by their mothers and fathers and sisters uh, in this region. So with these few remarks, uh, I'm saying thank you very much. Uh, the attendants, the media, uh, thank you very much. Well, uh, the forces are uh, the parade, the current parade here is 300 men and women in uniform. That is the, the exact parade which is departing today for that mission. Is it the first oh, contingent? No, this is not the first. This is the second. The first group have left uh, by land. 
through Western Equatoria to DRC Congo. Did they arrive? Yes, exactly. How, they are many, now. how many are they there? Yeah, the size of battalion. How many females? What is a battalion? We don't the battalion is the size of 750. How many females? Pardon? How many females? No, uh, that is a detailed parade. I will not talk about it. So, so uh, this 300, is it addition to the 750 of last time? Yes, it's a part of it, but they will uh, be deployed in different areas. They are going to Goma, and those forces are in Western. Uh, no, in Western. Just to inform the world, in total, what is the contribution of South Sudan in total in DRC as part of East African mission? Yes, it's, it's, it's uh, uh, 750. Uh, is over 1,000. Over 1,000. Over 1,000. Thank you so much. Thank you.